Okay, so let's have um, powers of tangents and seconds. So the general form for um, So the general form for this is the integral of tangent raised to mv, second raised to nv, dx where v is a differentiable function of x and powers m and n are real numbers. Now, if these powers m and n are equal to 1, uh, then uh, we can... We can use the, the theorem that we discussed already, that is the theorem on the integral of second, the integral of second x times tangent x dx is simply equal to second x plus c. Now take note, if the powers of tangent, uh, the, if the power of tangent and the power of second are both equal to one, then we can integrate directly the integral by applying this theorem. If, if the power of tangent is any number, so when say any number, that means it could be positive or negative, could be even integer or even number or a positive number. And if n is equal to two or the power of second is equal to two, then we can use u substitution by letting u equals tangent x. Okay? So itong dalawang cases dito, if, this, if these are the cases of, uh, if, uh, say, say for example, if given problems follow, follow any of these cases, then uh, we'll apply lang yung mga theorems na na-discuss na natin. Okay? However, if M and N are not equal to 1, or if M is not any number, or N is not equal to 2, then we cannot use the theorems that we discussed already. So we have this case number one. When m is any number and n is a positive even integer greater than 2. Or shall we say, in the general integrand form, if the power of tangent, which is m, is any number, it could be positive or negative, even or odd. And the power of second, which is n, is a positive even integer greater than two. Take note, n is a positive even integer greater than two. So it could be four, six, eight, 12, and so on and so forth, okay? Then we'll make use case one, which is equal to this uh, I mean, if we are to apply case one, then we'll make use of this equivalent expression. Okay? So this second n, second, second n v, uh, it's the same with uh, second n minus two v, which is even number pa din. And so since second is raised to an even power, then we'll make use of the trigonometric identity. That is second square v is equal to one plus tangent square v. Or if the power of second is four, then the power of tangent here is four. If the power of second here is six, then the power of tangent here is six. Okay, so applicable siya sa uh, gantong identity, trigonometric identity. And so this general form of the integrand becomes the integral of the quantity sum of powers of tangent v. 
Okay, kung napapansin niyo yung nasa loob ng na, nasa loob ng quantity, okay, are all sum of powers of tangent b. Why why sum of powers of tangent b? Since this second trace to n minus 2b will be expressed in terms of tangent. So kaya yung quantity natin ngayon, puro tangent, puro sum of powers of tangent b times second square b dx. So let's have this example. Let us evaluate the integral of uh, tangent cube x times second raised to 4x dx. Okay. So the uh, examining first the integrand, our integrand, our m here is a 3 and case 1 states that m is any number. So we have 3. Uh, as long as any number yung m natin. And then the power of second, the, or the, the power of this second function is 4. It's an even number greater than 2. And so what to do with this second raised to 4x? It becomes second square x times second square x. So we factored out second 4x. Okay. And then what's next? We will express second square x in terms of tangent. Kasi nga sabi ng case 1, yung quantity natin, or yung expression natin inside the quantity must be sum of powers of tangent. And so, the uh, one factor which is second square x is expressed uh, by using the, in, the trigonometric identity 1 plus tangent squared x. Okay? Sinobstitute natin yung equivalent trigonometric identity niya. Okay? And then we, uh, we just copied the remaining terms of the integrand. We have second squared x dx. Then what's next? Okay? We will multiply tangent cube x to each term in the inside the quantity. And so we have tangent cube x times 1 is tangent cube x. Tangent cube x times tangent square x becomes tangent raised to 5 x times second square x dx. Next. Okay. What did we do here? Okay, we apply linearity rule. Okay, so we will integrate tangent cube x, second square x dx. Then integrate tangent five, tangent raised to five x, second square x dx. Then we will let u equals tangent x. Now, if we are to derive tangent x with respect to x. The derivative of u is equal to second square x dx. And this du, which is second square x dx, is yung uh, term or expression na we can find sa uh, integrand natin, dalawang integrand. So we substitute u to tangent x and substitute du to second square x dx. So we have uh, the integral of u cube or u raised to the power of 3 du plus the integral of u raised to the power of 5 du. And then we will apply um, the general power rule. So it becomes. So we resubstitute the value of u, which is tangent x. And so we have tangent raised to 4x over 4 plus tangent raised to 6x over 6 plus c. Uh, if you have questions, you can unmute or feel free to unmute your microphone and then you ask me or you clarify things related to the example being discussed. 
or you can type your question uh, through the chat box so I can read them. Let's have case number two. So for case number two, m is a positive odd integer and n is any number. Okay, so given the uh, general integrand, uh, general form of the integrand, the power of tangent is a positive odd integer. So a positive odd integer means uh, like, or like for example, three, five, uh, seven, nine, positive odd integer. And the power of the second function, which is n, is any number, positive or negative. Okay, so if this is the case, then we'll make use of this equivalent expression. And then we'll make use of the trigonometric identity, identity, which is ta tangent square v is equal to second square v minus one. And then this expression, the expression inside the quantity will be expressed as sum of powers of second v times second v tangent v dx. This is a case number two, m is a positive odd integer three. Uh, say, say for example, three, five, seven. Okay, so we'll make use of, assuming that m is three. So m minus one is two. So it becomes an even, uh, the power becomes an even integer. And so if the power of tangent is an even integer or any even integer, then we can make use of the trigonometric identity. So example, a, let us evaluate the integral of tangent cube x times second raised to five x dx. Okay. So what did we do here? The power of the tangent function is three. And so what we did, what we did is we factor out tangent cube x into tangent square x and tangent x. Well, second, uh, second raised to 5x, we express this into factor second raised to 4x, second x. By the way, why did we express second raised to 5x into second 4x, second raised to 4x times second x? Why not second raise to three over x? Uh, why not second raise to three x times second raise second square x? Okay. Uh, our goal sa ganito example is mahan ma express natin ang integrand into a new integrand form wherein meron tayong second x and tangent x dx y kasi yun yung kailangan natin sa form natin ito second v tangent v kumbaga goal natin na mahanap itong second v tangent v or ma-express ang given integrand into a new integrand na merong second v tangent v dx kaya sa example na to tinaktor out natin ang second raised to 5x ginawa natin second raised to 4x times second x so, meron na tayong second x, tangent x, b, x. Somehow, may purpose to. Bakit, bakit ginawa natin to? And so, we, we substitute the equivalent trigonometric identity for tangent square x, and that is second square x minus 1. Then what's next? We will multiply second raised to 4x to each term inside the quantity, and so we have second square x times second raised to 4x becomes second raised to 6x or second x raised to 6 to the power of 6 minus second x raised to the power of 4 or second 
raised to 4x times second x tangent x dx. And then apply linearity, linearity rule. Then we let u equal second x. Then we derive the variable u with respect to x. Therefore, the derivative of second x is second x tangent x dx. Okay, so meron tayong second x tangent x dx, which is yun yung naka, uh, yun yung naka reflect din sa integral natin. And so, using method of substitution, we have the integral of u raised to the power of 6 du plus integral of u raised to the power of 4 du. And then apply a uh, general power rule here. Then resubstitute the value of u. So we have the final answer second raised to 7x or second x raised to 7 over 7 plus second x raised to 5 over 5 plus c. Now let's have case number three. So for case number three, m is a positive odd or even integer and n is zero. So that means to say, only tangent lang ang present sa integrand natin. Since if n is zero, then the whole second function is equal to one. Okay? So, maging ganyan yung hitsura niya. So, matitira niya lang is yung function of tangent. Function tangent of V raised to the power of M. Where M is a positive odd or even integer. Positive odd or even integer. And then we'll make use of the trigonometric identity. Tangent square V is equal to second square V minus 1. So example, okay, evaluate the integral of tangent raised to 5x or tangent x raised to 5 dx. So we express our given integrand to a new integrand form, to a new equivalent integrand form, okay, wherein meron tayong tangent square x. Okay, yung goal dito is express mo siya into a new equivalent integrand form na merong tangent square x. So if this is 6, if the power is 6, so we can express our integrand into tangent raised to 4x times tangent square x. If this is 7, then we can express this as tangent raised to 5x times tangent square x. Basta ang goal lagi is meron tayong tangent square x. Then we substitute the equivalent trigonometric identity. Tangent square x is equal to second square x minus 1. Then uh, multiply tangent cube x to each term in the, x in the quantity. So we have the integral of tangent. The integral of the quantity tangent cube x second square x minus tangent cube x d. X. And then we will apply, uh, sorry, we have here tangent cube x. So ang gagawin natin ngayon kay tangent cube x is express na naman natin siya into factors wherein yung isa is expressed in tangent square x. And then do the same thing na ginawa natin sa previous. Okay, we substitute uh the uh, equivalent trigonometric identity for tangent square x, which is second square x minus 1. And then multiply tangent x to each term in the quantity. So we have this uh, step. Okay, forward natin. We have the previous step. So what's next? We will apply linearity rule. Okay. And then we will let u equals tangent x. 
Now, we can make use of the method of substitution for the first integral and the second integral. Okay. For the third integral, we can integrate the third integral directly using uh, the integral of tangent. Oh, the integral tangent, which is equal to negative natural logarithm of the absolute value of cosine u plus c. So applicable dito. Itong first two integrals natin will make use of the u substitution. So we let equals tangent x, and then we derive u uh, with respect to x. So the, the derivative of tangent x is second square x dx, which is present siya, the integrand ng first integral and second integral. Napapansin nyo, we cannot use u substitution for the third integral. Why? Kasi if we make use of u substitution here, we will arrive with this du, which is second square x dx, in which wala sa kanya. And so, hindi applicable sa kanya ang u substitution. Ang u substitution kasi, or ang method of substitution, we will make use of one factor in the integrand, manipulate that factor, derive, derive or differentiate that factor, and then, pag na-derive natin siya, may express natin siya sa remaining term or terms ng integrand. So, hindi ba dito? We let u equals tangent x. So, ginamit natin ang factor na tangent x. Sorry. Dinerive natin siya and then we found out that du is equal to second square x dx which is the remaining terms of the integral. So, yun, yung, yun yung gamit ng uh, u substitution. And so, we have integral of u raised to the power of 3 times du minus integral of u times du u du plus the integral of tangent x dx. Now, for the first two integrals, we made use of a general power rule. Then, resubstitute the value of u, which is tangent x. So, we have tangent raised to 4x or tangent x raised to 4 all over 4 minus tangent square x over 2. And then, the integral of tangent x dx is equal to negative uh, natural logarithm of the absolute value of cosine u plus c. And so we have minus uh, natural logarithm of the absolute value of cosine x plus c. I hope things are get, getting clearer and easier. Okay. Now, for the, for the last uh, outline of this lecture, we have powers of cotangents and cosecants. Review lang. First is product of sine and cosine. Second is... Uh,